When it comes to autoimmune conditions, what needs to be understood is that that's not a normal thing. It's not a genetic predisposition either. Yes, there are genetic sensitivities associated with it. Some people are more predisposed than others. But what really happens is we have immune dysregulation over time. The reason why that happens, when I say dysregulation, there are two parts, right? There's the cell-mediated immune system. There's the antibody-driven. The cell-mediated kills and attacks things. The antibody-driven remembers them. Think of the chicken pox. When you get that virus, cell-mediated immune system springs into action. It kills the virus, and the antibody-driven remembers it, and we never get the chicken pox again. It's natural immunity. It's extremely powerful. But the cell-mediated immune system should be dominant. What happens with autoimmune disease is that the exact opposite is true. It's dysregulated. The immune system becomes dysregulated. And the reason why that happens is because of leaky gut syndrome. And what I mean by that is we get damage to the mucosal lining of our gut. Basically, the lining of our gut is the barrier to the external environment, and essentially, it's held together. All of the cells are very tight together because we don't want to allow things into our bloodstream directly. We don't want foreign bodies in our blood. That would be very bad. So what happens when those cells become damaged? We get gaps or we get leaks in the gut lining, and as a result, large particles enter our bloodstream directly, and we mount an immune response or we mount a, a defense against them. And that is what happens over time. And essentially, it creates this immune dysregulation over time. We become hypersensitive. Then what happens with autoimmune conditions is our immune system just goes haywire based on an external trigger. It can be a viral infection. It can be a bacterial infection. It can be a serious emotional event. It can be a trauma, like a car accident. It can be exposure to environmental toxins. Because individuals with autoimmunity are genetically sensitive to these things, then what happens is we develop this autoimmune disease and our immune system starts to attack healthy tissue.